session leader is Bishop Antoine, the national director of the Philippine Council of Evangelical Churches. Uh, you can find out the handout or a brief outline of his presentation. So let us welcome, and uh, he will give us very inspirational you know, advice and comment. Yeah, let's welcome him. Maraming salamat po. Um, good morning, everyone. And uh, thank you so much for inviting us. We are so grateful. The first time that I heard this, I said this is an opportunity that we could move forward for greater cooperation and stronger partnership. So I praise God. I thank you. I'm so blessed to be here. Uh, I'm honored and privileged to be here uh, to greet you on behalf of the Philippine Council of Evangelical Churches. I'm also uh, chairman and president of the Philippine Bible Society, which is uh, uh, working with the uh, United Bible Societies and uh, Korea Bible Society. In fact, I was there uh, last month. So thank you. Uh, thank you for this uh, wonderful um, opportunity that uh, we could be with you. Well, I have uh, provided, and uh, we only have, this is a very short time of uh, presentation. So I outlined my uh, presentation as uh, I have given uh, you. First of all, number one is Thanksgiving for came up contribution in the nation's discipleship uh, through various ministries. In uh, more than uh, 50 years, uh, if I am correct, um, the Korea Missionary Association uh, um, came up has been uh, sending missionaries in the Philippines. And you have uh, uh, targeted places, uh, even the tribal places, and uh, places that uh, uh, some of our denominations and uh, churches do not have presence. In the area of uh, church planting and training and many other various ministries. And uh, so we are thankful uh, right now, there are, uh, speaking for the Philippine Council of Evangelical Churches, there are 72,000 uh, Bible-believing churches. This would include all the, uh, the Protestants, the Evangelicals, independent organizations. In the PCEC, there's about uh, 38,000 uh, uh, churches and uh, 78 denominations that are working uh, together with PCEC in the discipleship of the nation and also uh, reaching the unreached people groups, unengaged unreached people groups uh, in the Philippines and in Asia and around the world. Uh, but there's uh, so much things that needs to be done. Right now, there are still 20,000 barangays in the Philippines that do not have uh, churches or witness. So there's, uh, in the last uh, 40 years, um, many of the missionaries, uh, came up missionaries, have targeted these barangays. And we are updating our, um, uh, our statistics. And uh, that's why there's, uh, there's need for greater coordination. We want to know where are these barangays and places where came up missionaries are located. But uh, uh, from the bottom of our hearts and on behalf of the Philippine Church, uh, thank you. Your contribution to the discipleship of the nation is very much uh, uh, appreciated. Secondly, uh, on the point of stronger uh, cooperation with national discipleship, evangelistic church planting, and uh, leadership uh, development programs. Uh, Korean missionaries, from here on, you know, you have been serving in the last 40 years, and um, the PCEC has uh, endorsed uh, many Korean missionaries uh, for, at the Bureau of Immigration and Deportation, and uh, we will still continue to do that. And, uh, you are, Korean missionaries are still very, very, very much welcome in the Philippines. <laughs> yes. Um, 
there are still so much uh, things to be done in our country. Uh, at least 85% of uh, the population, uh, and then I have, uh, I have said that uh, 20,000 barangays have yet to be reached in, uh, in our country. And uh, uh, Pastor Nono will later on uh, tell you probably the uh, cross-cultural aspect of this uh, missionary work and church planting in the Philippines but uh, in these 20,000 barangays, uh, the bulk of these unreached uh, groups are in the south. Uh, so the Mindanao missionaries, uh, we really want to coordinate with them. There was a time, I think, uh, when did we meet with the uh, Korean missionaries uh, in Mindanao? Uh, a few months ago. But there's a greater coordination because the bulk of the target barangays that are unreached are in those areas. So you're still very much welcome. We would like to serve uh, PCEC, uh, would like to serve in the B visa and uh, immigration endorsement for Korean missionaries. And uh, as I understand, uh, every month we are endorsing an average number of 37 missionaries. And I think 60% of these are Koreans. So praise God for Koreans uh, that are uh, very strongly uh, supporting our missionary work. And uh, we would like also to help in the promotion of your ministries to the body of Christ. So whenever there are uh, uh, events and programs and activities, um, PCEC uh, would like to be part of that in terms of promotion and praying, and so that uh, your uh, endeavors in the cities, in the provinces, would have greater participation uh, among the PCEC members. Um, number three um, point is uh, in the area of cooperation in addressing felt needs brought about by natural calamities, including capacity building, and disaster preparedness. In uh, the many years past, we have seen your strong uh, support, cooperation, involvement, and participation in uh, church planting, uh, missionary work, and training. But uh, in the coming days, as you see, the Philippines is visited by 27 typhoons uh, every year. And uh, right now, in the, in, just in the past uh, uh, three years, we have experienced unprecedented strength. Uh, you know, the, the strongest typhoon that have visited the whole planet Earth, we have experienced in uh, Typhoon Yolanda, where 5,000 churches and more than 15 uh, million Filipinos, including 5 million children, suffered because of this. They are still suffering. Many of them are still suffering right now. We would like to see uh, a greater uh, involvement uh, of uh, the, the Korean missionaries uh, in two areas. Uh, readiness to respond. Um, uh, for example, um, there's a, a fire in Holo Sulu uh, just a few days ago. The following day, we hear report already because of Philippine Relief and Development Services. And we have missionaries in those areas. And we have churches and we have uh, uh, pastors that are working uh, and th that have uh, evaluated and validated so we are serving 500 families right now uh, in, in relief operations. So uh, this is an opportunity if the Lord would so lead you to, uh, uh, to help us respond to these needs. And we have seen that uh, in responding to calamity-stricken areas, for example, Marawi siege, 600,000 people were evacuated. And uh, many of them are still living in evacuation centers. We have served at Philrads 5,000 families. 
and many of our uh, uh, partner organizations in the field are still working day and night to help, even in the madrasas. These are the Muslim school uh, for children. Uh, they are there serving. But uh, because of the uh, demonstration of love of Christians, many Muslims have opened their eyes and even their hearts and their homes to receive Isa al-Masih, to receive Jesus Christ. And we do not know how many of them are being, you know, have received the Lord Jesus Christ. But many of them are in small groups and being discipled by our partner organizations in the field. Uh, the Lord has also opened for us to build 100 homes for Muslims. Imagine this, Christians, churches, contributing to build homes for Muslims. And right now, our pastors, our workers are there and talking to people every day. And what could be the most important message that they can give to Muslims? God loves you, and we love you also. So we would like to see greater cooperation in this so that uh, uh, the Lord will open uh, many doors of opportunities for witness. And um, a visibility in uh, partnership in those areas. If uh, people in these cal calamity-stricken areas would see uh, PCEC and uh, Korean missionaries working together, then I'm sure the people on the ground, even the pastors, would visibly see the greater cooperation that we're, do we're going to do uh, in the coming days. Thirdly, uh, I'm sorry, fourth, number four, is uh, greater coordination in the areas of church multiplication and training. Uh, we are providing you with uh, this brochure, the Philippines Vision 120 by 2020. You will see on the, uh, the third, uh, or the, um, the, if you open, open the flap, this is the latest uh, statistics that are provided by uh, Philippine Challenge. Philippine Challenge is our uh, research arm. So uh, day and night, uh, they know exactly how the church is progressing in the Philippines. Um, there are, as I have mentioned, there are 20,000 barangays that are still in church in the Philippines. So we are asking all evangelical denominations and groups in the country uh, to coordinate efforts and strategically target these 20,000 barangays that do not have presence of uh, evangelical churches. And so in that website, www.fieldchild.org, there's, um, there's a list of all the cities and barangays that uh, uh, have uh, the greatest need uh, of work. So we would like to coordinate uh, our efforts. And uh, if there would be new missionaries in the coming days who would come to the Philippines, it would uh, be best to coordinate what area, uh, not only what area of ministry, but what geographical area would the missionary be placed. Sometimes there's uh, too much congestion in one barangay. Uh, there's a 10 mission organization targeting one barangay, but the next barangay, there's no uh, mission organization that's, uh, 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 that's going there. So uh, we need greater coordination, so we would appreciate. Uh, right now, the Philippines Vision 120 by 2020 has a secretariat. We have a full-time staff that's uh, monitoring the growth of uh, uh, Philippine church, and uh, including the church multiplication area. So uh, updates are available, and uh, if we could have your email address, we will update you online regularly on the uh, progress of church growth in the Philippines and what barangays are rich and barangays that are still not rich. Number four, um, I would like to see uh, stronger support and participation of uh, KMAP, Korean missionaries, in national events, 
programs and mission related. Please uh, correct that. That's not related. Related activities. Um, uh, PCEC uh, right now uh, endorses uh, uh, foreign missionaries and then uh, the, the experience. And I would like to be blunt about this, you know. When they apply for visa, uh, we see them, we fill them. But, you know, we see them again uh, during uh, renewal, <laughs> okay? But uh, we would like to see. In fact, uh, some, of, some missionaries may not uh, feel welcome, like, for example, in participating in our uh, biennial conference, in our annual gathering. Please, please, I would like to tell you, you are very, very much welcome. Uh, please, uh, we will uh, endeavor to send you updates and invitations of every national activities that is not only for Filipinos, but for all missionaries that are working in the Philippines. During our biennial conference or annual uh, biennial assemblies, this is the time when we hear what's happening around the country. We rejoice together. We celebrate together. And I would love to see Korean missionaries participate and we would like to hear also report of what's happening, uh, what's going on, uh, what's the progress of your work. So in National Assembly, uh, commission ministries, there are 17 uh, commissions in the PCEC. There's Women's Commission, Youth Commission, uh, you know, a training, uh, trainer of pastors, uh, Coalition Commission, the Philippine Missions Association, they have annual assemblies and gatherings also. You are very much welcome to participate in all this so that you can be updated and express also your uh, uh, participation, desire to participate in some of these ministries. So uh, some events uh, that will uh, propel, that would help us really in accomplishing the vision and mission of PCEC. So I will not uh, go through this but I would like to leave you all this. There's statistics and there's uh, ways on how you can uh, participate. You can contact us if you have any uh, other questions concerning uh, uh, participation, prayer, and partnership with Philippines Vision 120 by 2020, which is a, a vision of seeing 120,000 uh, churches in the Philippines uh, by the year 2020, uh, but uh, this is uh, incorporating uh, other ways of uh, starting new churches, not only the traditional, but simple churches, house churches, and other disciple-making uh, movements. So thank you once again, and uh, may the Lord uh, bless us as we work together in the discipleship of the Philippines. I'm praying for you, and uh, I look forward to greater, stronger, and higher partnership in the coming days. Maraming salamat po.